Hi, it's Tim for MZP Machine. Today we're going to be showing you our machinist clamp set. Uh, the set includes two 18 inch, two 12 inch, and two 8 inch long clamps. We're going to do three setups on three different machines and just show you how we use them. The set also includes 12 Zots, and if you don't know what Zots are, we'll explain them in a second. These are Zots, it's basically an aluminum disc, quarter inch thick by inch and a quarter across. Have a number of uses. You can use them as points. Here we have this weldment set up on three points. And the reason you do three instead of four is because you don't want to twist the weldment. A lot of times you can set <coughs> the part up on blocks if it's relatively flat and a good weldment like this. You don't want it to rock. Or if it's a real irregular weldment, you can set it up on these points or zots. Put another one on top and you basically apply your pressure and direct your pressure to the zot on the bottom and you do it on each 246 block. And then this will not rock on three points. You don't want to bend the weldment and then have it change its shape once you release your clamps. So we're going to get the clamp set up here in a second and uh, we'll show you how that looks. Okay, the first thing I want to do is establish the height for the heel blocks. I'm going to be using one, two, three blocks to hold up the other side of the clamp. So we're going to be clamping right here. And I'm going to place a zot there. Basically a zot keeps the surface from mar marring. It also helps you establish the height for the heel on the clamp. <clears throat> so I'll push heel blocks up against here. And they're pretty much level, but this tube is a little bit higher. So when I go to set up the clamp, <coughs> I'll use two zots, so the clamp will be inclined like this. Now, <coughs> we want to put our stud as close as we can to the part, because we want to clamp the part, not the heel block. If we did it anywhere in here would be basically applying more pressure to the heel block than we would be to the part. So we're going to install our stud right here. We'll angle this clamp so that we can align with that slot. Put a T-nut in there and install our stud. Okay, now I'm just going to throw a couple of washers on top of the clamp. <coughs> install the stud. T-nut's already down there. Tighten up the clamp. We're not going to make this one super tight because we're not really doing much work back here. Uh, if we were milling or doing something heavier, we'd obviously set this up a little bit differently. Most of the pressure is going to be up front. We're going to install two of the nine-inch, sorry, two of the eight-inch clamps on the front blocks. Okay, off camera we've set up the two 8 inch, I'm sorry, the two 12 inch clamps and uh, <clears throat> what's going to happen to this is just gets a series of quarter 20 holes all around the perimeter of the space so it gets a top attached to it. If we're doing anything heavier we would be clamping from up top and it would be a totally different setup but this is adequate for drilling some light holes. Okay, here we have another quick, easy setup. We're clamping a big V block um, on this machine. And just make sure that, um, again, that your clamps are leaning slightly forward and <clears throat> that you keep your studs close to the part being clamped. Uh, we're going to set up our part on here and we'll show you that. Okay, here we have our round part set up in the V-block. We're using our 18-inch clamp with a zot on top of it to hold it into the V-block. We've got our two 12-inch clamps holding down the V-block and we've indicated across this face and along the side uh, to make sure the block is square and we've indicated this so we know where center is and we basically have to bore a hole in this and that's it. That's our setup. Okay, here we have our 
eight inch clamps set up just holding down a vise on the bridge port. Sometimes we'll take the keys off the bottom of the vise and move it away from the slot um, in case you need a little more clearance. Um, <clears throat> also you can turn the vise on, on any angle and clamp it flat on here. Many uses for these clamps on a bridge port uh, for plates and whatever you want to clamp on a bridge port. And that's it. Thanks for watching our video.